Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second I thought I saw... Eraser factory is back open, even though foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The bureau's marking this case officially closed. Ingram? Oh, hiya, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. How are things going in vegetable crimes? The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers. We haven't had a real case since the Tarot murders back in 76. What I wouldn't give to see some field action like you did. Puzzle division, wow! Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, cracked that case wide open. Jim, puzzle division isn't that exciting. Come on, Nelson, you were out of the office a whole week. So, what are you doing in my office? Check it out, I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Yeah, about that. Nice try, Jim, but you see here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry, you almost. Hey, Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. I'm gonna be taking some time off and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through Vegetable Crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed, but I can't leave it like this. The factory form is still missing to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I've found Isaac Dowd and 
gotten to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Agent Tethers. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? What? Who? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Oh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guest just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm, I'll be on the lookout for it. Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh no, oh dear. Uh, this is terrible. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Oh, yeah, lots of, you know, tourists. Here for the snow and, uh, erasers. Look, you can see here for yourself.
looks like there's a room available. Hmm, well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Ah, that room is being, uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Ghosts? No, not ghosts. Uh, the, the other thing. Bed bugs? Oh, heavens no. Of course it's not bed bugs. It's, uh, uh, painters. The room's being fumigated for painters? Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett? Good, then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. Scoggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled and unwelcome. Tried to check into the hotel, only to be told there were no vacancies. Unless the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide something. Just heard something from the alley behind the hotel. The alley where I saw one of those creatures. I'm going to investigate. It's just the door. The noises in the alley turned out to be nothing more sinister than a back door to a warm room for the night. There has to be a reason Mrs. Garrett doesn't want anyone to know I'm staying here. But that, oh, is a mystery for tomorrow. Ah, a hidden people lamp to stare at me all night while I sleep. Comforting. Was a tricky one. Hmm. For a second, I thought I saw someone on the street below. Probably just my imagination. It's clear now that the mysteries of Scoggins go deeper than the incident at the Eraser Factory. And I'm convinced I made the right choice to come back. Assuming, of course, I make it through the night.
Hả? It's no good. Someone knows I'm in town because I've just received a note. Isaac Davner does not exist. I won't have any idea what that means until I've gotten enough information to solve the puzzle on the other side. My first priority tomorrow is to take this note into town and find out what these names have in common. Mrs. Garrett. Hello, Agent Tethers. I hope you had a good night. I did, actually. Thanks to a, a mysterious benefactor. Oh, it's not that mysterious. I'm sure she just... I mean, whoever it was just hated the thought of you being out there in the dark and cold. Mrs. Garrett, was anyone pressuring you to keep me from checking in? Oh, no. That business about the vacancies was just, um, er, a, a clerical error. Oh, silly me. Well, okay. It's just that some people don't trust outsiders because they see this town as a family. A brotherhood of Skagans, if you will. But that's no reason to be inhospitable. Is there anyone else staying in the hotel? To be honest, no. Why do you ask? Somebody left a strange note under my door last night. Couldn't see who it was. Oh my, I was at the desk all night and I didn't see or hear anyone come in or out. Has anyone in town actually seen the hidden people? Agent Tethers, that's just crazy talk. The only gnomes in Skagans are the little wooden ones. Speaking of that, what happened to your collection from the window? Oh, those? I sold them to that nice man Steve at the diner. Made a tidy profit, too. Nobody's ever mentioned actually seeing one of the hidden people? Oh, Agent Tethers, they're just stories people tell to make the long winters more interesting. Nobody really believes in that. Except that poor Bo Murphy, I guess. And Steve, over at the diner. Oh, and the Brotherhood, of course. Have you seen Bo Murphy? The last time I saw him, he was in the alley, talking to someone. I was hoping to ask him some questions about it. Bo Murphy? Well, I haven't seen him in... Oh my, how long has it been since I've seen him? Must have been around the time you were here last. That's been quite some time. Mumbled something about going into the woods to finish a conversation. Haven't seen him since. Did you file a missing persons report with the sheriff for Bo Murphy? Oh my, no. I didn't even realize he was gone until you mentioned it. Bo was always a little unusual, even before he started talking about the whispers. I'm sure he'll be back before you know it. I'm actually kind of curious about that hot dish I've been hearing about. Oh, sorry, Agent Tethers. We really are out of the hot dish for real, I'm afraid. It's been a bad winter for moose meat, and the man who usually delivers the cilantro has gone mysteriously missing. So long, Mrs. Garrett. You stay safe out there. Shh. 
stupid flyers. Uh, the crash of a black moon. Um, excuse me. Daryl, was it? Hang on, I'm bi- Hey, you're that FBI guy. Special Agent Tethers, Puzzle Research Division. Yeah, well, I've got a missing person case for you guys to solve. The factory foreman? That's old news. I'm talking about my brother, Daryl. Could you tell me more about your brother's disappearance? We were out past Sassamy Woods a couple of days ago. Daryl split off on his own because he said we were in Barrel Oak country. Barrel Oak? Oh, they're real. Don't doubt it. And he was scared of them. Scared? Nah, he went hunting for them. Haven't seen them since. Is there anything else you can tell me about Daryl? He's allergic to walnuts. What do you want to know? Not much to it, Mr. FBI. He went missing out past Sesame Woods, and somebody needs to go look for him. Have you seen or heard from Isaac Davner since I left? Who? The foreman of the Eraser Factory. He went missing after the factory shut down. Oh yeah, him. Yeah, figures. People here go missing all the time. Do you know anything about the hidden people? Great. My brother goes missing, and the FBI comes to ask me about forest gnomes. You don't believe in them? You should have come here earlier, when I was four years old, and listened to bedtime stories. Where have you been putting up those flyers? I've been getting permission first. It's legal. Need any help? Sure. Federal tax dollars should work. There you go. That should get everybody in town on the lookout for Daryl. I doubt it in this town. People disappear all the time in Scoggins. Nobody even notices anymore. There have been other missing people? Plenty others. Even that researcher over at the campground had his buddy go missing just last week. Hmm. Do you know where I could... He's got a trailer at the Wallows campground. Name's Alfred uh, something or other. Have fun, Mr. FBI. Try looking for my brother while you're at it. It sounds like Isaac Davner is just one of many missing people around Scoggins. The cases might all be related. I'm heading to the Wallows to ask a researcher there about his missing friend. Uh, and look for Daryl's brother, of course. The fire pit hasn't been used since the last thaw, assuming this place ever thaws. 
Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a researcher. You found one. I'm Special Agent Tethers with the FBI Puzzle Research Division, Dr. Versteckt. But that's my father's name. Call me Alfred. I'm doing anthropological research here in Scoggins. I'm a student of mankind. Someone in town said your friend had gone missing? Friend? Oh, yes, they must be talking about my graduate student, Will Medlock. Very bright young man. Disappeared, oh, when was that? Two months ago? That was before the incident at the eraser factory. But no one mentioned it before. Can't say I'm surprised. Local law enforcement was no help. Yes, I I've met the local law enforcement. People here are more interested in puzzles than missing people. Is there anything else you can tell me about this missing grad student, Will? Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if spending time in Scoggins was starting to have an effect on him. How do you mean? He became unfocused. Talked about nightmares and whispers. I didn't think much of it at the time. He walked away in the middle of one of my discussions about the transformative power of myth and legend. I thought he was just bored, but I never saw him again. What is an anthropologist doing in Scoggins, Minnesota? Same thing an anthropologist does anywhere else. I'm studying people. The people of Scoggins? Is there enough to study? Oh my, yes. The shared reality made by the people and their folklore. I've been here for years, and I've just barely scratched the surface. Don't you get the sense that this is a town on the cusp of something big? Their folklore, their fascination with puzzles. It's as if the energy of thought is being transformed into solving one of the great problems of our age. How long have you been here in Scoggins? Well, let's see, about 15 years? I'm on my eighth government grant. Do you know anything about the missing factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Ah, yes. Fascinating story, that. A real suburban myth in the making. To the people of Scoggins, he's the archetype of the martyr. The ritual sacrifice made as an attempt to assert control over capricious nature. Wait a second. Davner is not a myth. He's a real person. I've met him. Myths are real, Agent Tethers. We're all characters playing roles. The hero in a quest for truth. The wise, mysterious sage who serves as his guide. Wise. Right. You must know something about the local stories, about gnomes? The hidden people? Well, of course. They're the ones who brought me here in the first place. I'm studying the myth and worship of the hidden people. Oh, then you've dealt with that cult, the Brotherhood of Scoggins. Oh my, yes. Frightfully mad, all of them. Be careful, Agent Tethers. Their devotion to the hidden people makes them extremely driven and extremely dangerous. Thanks for your time, Alfred. If you hear any more about Isaac Davner or your missing friend, please let me know. I've just spoken with a mild-mannered but extremely driven agent from the FBI. He was looking for information about the hidden people and the rash of disappearances in the area, including young Wills. Of course, if he's investigating a missing persons case, he'd best talk to Sheriff Bogg. The sheriff may not be helpful, but he is the one man in town with information about all the missing residents. What he said. I'm finally desperate enough to visit Sheriff Boggs' office, but he's already working against me. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. Daryl 
girl's disappearance has got to be tied into all of this somehow. Foreman's wife, Glory Davner, is still working at the diner as if nothing's happened. Even though her husband's still missing, and the last time I saw her, she was using a chainsaw to try to drown me under a lake of ice. I still don't know how she's involved, but I'd better make it clear I'm only trying to help if I want to get any information. Distribution of weight between birds. Twelve votes to title compensation circuit. The whispers. Oh. Hi, Steve. You're that FBI agent. Grapples? Tethers. Have you seen Isaac Davner around town? Davner? The old eraser factory foreman? Oh, nobody's seen him since the incident. There seem to be a lot of missing persons cases around Scoggins. Yeah? Stuff happens. Did you know any of the missing people? I don't talk to a lot of people in town. Just here for business. What can you tell me about the hidden people? I'm not into that anymore. Market dropped out on gnome figurines. No, I mean real ones. Real hidden people? Are you trying to catch me saying something crazy? Is this entrapment? Are you okay, Steve? You seem... Tense. I'm not tense. Lots of people have trouble sleeping. It doesn't mean anything. How long have you had trouble sleeping? Since the eraser factory reopened. Why? Just asking. How's business? I'm not into tchotchke smuggling anymore, if that's what you're asking. No, I, I was just... You can't prove anything. Calm down. Okay. It's that I just can't figure out this problem. Maybe you can help.
Hello, Sheriff Bog. Agent Heathers, what are you doing back in town? We got everything under control, and we don't need the FBI poking its... Calm down, Sheriff. I'm just here on personal leave. Hmm. Well, I keep my eye on tourists just the same as FBI agents. When I filed my report with the Bureau, I left out the part about you holding me at gunpoint. Come on, Tethers. I don't know how you boys do things in Washington. But out here, sometimes a man's got to do what he's got to do. Even if it means drawing a gun on a fella. What? I hope you've started to take Bjorn's cult seriously. I'm convinced they're behind the disappearance of Isaac Davner. What? That's crazy. The Brotherhood of Scoggins are valued members of this community. I'm not gonna let them be harassed by anybody, FBI or no. I've heard that Isaac Davner is only one of the people to go missing around Scoggins. What can you tell me about the other disappearances? What can I tell you? Nothing. Sure, I got files on all the so-called missing persons, but I don't have to show them to any FBI man, especially one who's not here on official business. I believe the hidden people have something to do with the incident at the factory. Agent Taylor, please. Just because we don't live in some fancy city doesn't mean you can treat us like gullible yokels. You've been just as helpful as always, Sheriff Bog. Glad to be a service, Agent Chathers. Enjoy your time in our town and behave yourself. Agent Tethers. Ah! We need to talk outside. What did you need to talk about, Mrs. Davner? It's about Isaac. He's not back yet. He's supposed to be back. I warn you, Glory, that attacking an FBI agent with a chainsaw is a federal offense. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just, you were going to stop the Brotherhood. I couldn't let you. Isaac needed to finish his journey. Why are you worried about Isaac now? You're the one who helped the hidden... help them take him. You don't understand. It was the only way to save him. Save him? Isaac was... troubled. The Brotherhood offered us a way to cure him. How are the Brotherhood supposed to cure Isaac? Some kind of spiritual thing, I guess. Neither of us really understood it, but we were desperate. Do you have any idea where the hidden people would have taken Isaac? The hidden people aren't real. But I saw them taking Isaac away. It's the Brotherhood. They lied. What do you mean when you say the Brotherhood lied? Bjorn talked about finding peace by communing with forest spirits. I thought it was a... what's the word? A metaphor? No, a crock. But we try anything, and now Isaac's missing. In the lodge, I saw a photo of you and Isaac with the rest of the Brotherhood. They said they could help us, help Isaac. But they've been taking people. They took Isaac. It's all my fault. They took Isaac? Have you told the sheriff? The sheriff knows. He's working with them. Look, um, Glory, I'd like to stay and talk, but... You've got to get the missing person files. I, uh, that's actually a good idea. I'll make sure Sheriff Bog stays in the diner. Find out anything you can about Isaac. I finally got some help, more or less, in finding Isaac Davner. His wife, Glory, believes that the local cult is behind all the missing person cases in Scoggins. I'm going back to the sheriff's office to find out exactly what he's hiding in his files. Oh, 
Oh, Mr. Scroffman, you've been there the whole time. station is locked tight. It looks like the sheriff's interest in puzzles extends to office security. to find those missing persons files. Agent Tethers? Cripes! Sheriff Bog! How long have you been standing? Randall Scruffman told me you might be paying my office a visit. I'm sorry, it's just I really needed to see how bad this missing person problem is. Everything I got about missing people is in those files. Uh, thanks. I wonder if the rest of the Scoggins police force is as competent as Sheriff Bog. With all due respect, Sheriff, these files aren't exactly comprehensive. There are no dates. What's in the files is everything I got, Tethers. It spells a name? Teeter-daughter. Did you say teeter-daughter? 
Uh, maybe? Hmm, that's probably Melkorka teeter-dotter. And she's a strange one. Keeps her herself. Nobody in town really knows her. Is she one of the missing people? Missing? No, I can't say anyone would miss her. She lives in the old Teterson house over on the west side of town, near Valda's Inn. Then I'd better find out what she knows about all these disappearances. Put my furniture back in order and fix the lock on your way out, Tethers. At least the eraser factory's up and running again. Scoggins' only exports are erasers and weirdness. Assuming Sheriff Bog wasn't sending me on another wild goose chase, I've arrived at the house of the mysterious Melkorka. I'm still not sure how she ties into the disappearances, but she's the only lead I've got. According to the sheriff's description, she sounds like a recluse, probably the town's resident gossipy spinster. Good evening, Agent Tethers. I see you found my note. Bah. Quickly, come inside before they see us. I see you're a puzzle fan, Miss Teeter-Daughter. I dabble. Keeps the brain sharp. And my friends call me Korka. I would hope you're a friend, Agent Heathers. Mm -hmm. Can I get you a drink? Or a crossword? Just the facts, ma'am. Well, look at what we have here. Well, that takes care of that one. A puzzle. Another puzzle solved. You mentioned a note. Are you the one who slipped a note with a puzzle under my door? Forgive the theatrics, Agent Heathers. I knew your reputation, but I had to be sure you had what it takes. Your puzzle had a list of all the missing people in Scoggins for over a decade. I've been keeping track. Somebody has to. There's a name I didn't recognize, Halder Magnuson. Haldor, he was my partner. Business partner? Eight years ago, he went into the woods, never came back. What does this mean? Isaac Davner does not exist. Finally, you're asking the right questions.
test pilot Ed Davis? But that's... That's Isaac Davner. And look at the date of that article. 16 years ago. And that's just a few weeks before the date of the first missing persons case. Exactly. How are the hidden people tied into all this? Seriously, Agent Heathers? Maybe I misjudged you. Are you here to investigate a crime? Or to chase after forest gnomes, like those gullible fools in the Brotherhood cult? None of this explains how Bjorn and his Brotherhood cult is involved. Think clearly, Nelson. That lodge has been a part of the town for decades. The disappearances started only 16 years ago. There is only one explanation. Ed Davis, your Isaac Davner, is a serial murderer. But the hidden people! I saw them take Isaac away! Smokescreen. Davner disappeared just as you were getting too close. You're the only one who can find him and stop him. I don't know what to think. I need some gum. Let me see your map. I have marked approximately where in the woods Halto disappeared. Once the FBI showed up, Ed Davis ran back into hiding. But... You want to find Isaac Davner? Head back to the scene of his crimes. All right, I'll do it. Someone has got to investigate. Come back whenever you find something, Nelson. I'll be up. I can stay up all night. Well then. I've arrived at the point Corka marked on my map. No signs yet of anyone here. Edvard, one of the members of the Brotherhood cult. Got to find out what he's...
Edvard gave me the slip. And now, I have no idea where I am. I'll have to find my way back to... I found, I can't believe it, but I found the body of an astronaut. I don't want to, but I've got to see. I didn't hear you come in. I went to the spot you marked in the woods. Did you find that, Davis? More than that. I saw one of Bjorn's cult members out there, probably covering up the scene of the crime. Why now? Bjorn must have seen us talking, or the sheriff. It's a conspiracy. Conspiracy? The hidden people! The forest is full of them! Staring, whispering. You've been in Skoggins too long. You're chasing shadows. I found the body of an astronaut. An astronaut. Like in my dreams, but real. As real as the hidden people? You don't believe me. The hidden people, the Brotherhood, the astronaut, it's all connected. Hmm, maybe you have uncovered something. Where did you see this astronaut? It was, I don't know. I got turned around, but I know I saw it. If you did see something, there's nothing you can do tonight. You're right. I'll check it out tomorrow. Good night. A night's rest is exactly what I needed to clear my head. Even in daylight, I'd never be able to find that astronaut on my own. But I can pay a visit to the Lodge to find out what the Brotherhood was doing in the forest. Nelson Tethers, FBI Puzzle Research. I have some questions. No, 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 they aren't hanging curtain. The Lodge members practically worship the hidden people.
Enough's enough, Bjorn. I demand that you answer my questions. <laughs> Angry whispers. <laughs> Brotherhood is broken. <laughs> no, no. Can't pull the small man. Hmm. He's not being evasive. He he's gone insane. Agent Tethers. You're going to have to explain what's going on. I will try. I know you're behind all of the missing person cases in Scoggins. No, that's not true. Then why did I see your man Edvard in the woods last night? He was searching for Shilder. The other cult, uh, member of the Brotherhood? Yeah, he went to commune with the hidden people. Never returned. Now he is lost. Why were you trying to keep me from finding Isaac Davner? He was chosen. The hidden people whispered to him. He had to listen. Where is he now? He is lost, like the others. The hidden people are angered. How do you talk to the hidden people? I do not. They choose. I have never seen them. Well, if you're not behind the disappearances, who is? I do not know. You must find them, Agent Ethers. Bring them home. All of them. Shielder, Edvar, Isaac, Olaf. I'll do what I can. Who's Olaf? Olaf Velhaven. The first man lost to the forest many years ago. Where was he seen last? In his cabin in Sesame Woods. Bjorn insists the Brotherhood isn't behind the disappearances. For some reason, I believe him. I'm relieved they're not trying to kill me, but that only leaves me with one theory. Isaac Davner really is a serial murderer. Bjorn's pointed out the cabin of Olaf Velhoven on my map. Maybe I'll find some leads there.
The lock on Olaf's cabin was a little tricky. Who or what was he trying to keep out? The cabin seems untouched. I must be the first person here in years. Apparently, Olaf Velhaven had an interest in astronomy. There's got to be something in his journals or equipment that gives a clue to his disappearance. I wonder if Olaf moved to the wilderness to better see the stars. Why would an astronomer come to Scoggins to do his research? Olaf seems to have been particularly interested in lunar eclipses. Olaf Velhoven kept a record of the time and date of every penumbral eclipse for years. Why was he so interested in lunar eclipses? This looks like some kind of mathematical formula? no good. There's just not enough information here to solve this one yet. This is odd. Why would an astronomer be studying psychology?
That's it. But what does this have to do with his other research? And a cucumber sandwich. Also, I've reached a remarkable breakthrough. A direct link between the phases of the moon and the disorders of the human mind. But seriously, about that sandwich. <laughs> yes, it's so simple. All of the moon's complex energies, electrical energy in the brain and the lunatic, all interrelated. All reduced to one beautiful, elegant formula. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. A song in celebration. <clears throat> Receive the letter today. Imagine the greatest finding in the history of astral psychology, and they claim my research has no scientific merit. But their loss. If NASA ignores my work, perhaps a private investor. NASA? If Olaf Velhoven's journal is to be believed, he made an incredible discovery. He's mathematically solved lunacy. What could be causing this headache? <sighs> Never mind. I've got to get back to Corcus and tell her what I've discovered. How could one man possibly need this many socks? Orca. I was right. This is big. Nelson, did you find something at the lodge? It's much bigger than the cult. Bjorn led me to a cabin in the woods where a scientist was investigating something to do with space. Really? I think it's part of some government cover-up. Ooh, a cover-up? Hidden recordings. He'd found something out there. Yes, yes. But after he reported it, he disappeared. And they tried to take me off the case. This could go all the way to the top. The CIA, the NSA, the, the Trilateral Commission. Oh, my. Now I've got proof. I was starting to think I was losing my mind that no one believed me. I believe you, Nelson. I think you're ready to see this. Huh? Good men like Haldor got too close. They started to find out too much. NSA and the Freemasons had to take them. Shut them up! You can hear it if you know how to listen. CIA curiosity suppression rays. Sounds like whispers in the forest. But, but the astronaut. Astronauts? Charlatans. Don't be so naive, Nelson. Everybody knows Kennedy faked the space race to distract the world from the real breakthrough. The Kehtemat incident. The first viable Bigfoot human hybrid. Well, I gotta go. Not sure what to believe anymore. Could I be going as crazy as Korka? Hmm. 
Maybe these hidden people really are just a product of my imagination. The only sane person I've spoken to is Dr. Verstecht at the campground. Maybe I should talk to him. Dr. Verstecht? Alfred, how can I help you, Agent Tethers? Have you ever met a local scientist named Olaf Velhaven? Once, many years ago. Strange man. Completely obsessed with some mathematical formula to cure psychological disorders. I think he may have found that formula. Did he? Yeah, good for him. You've been in these woods for a while. Have you ever seen any astronauts? Hmm, no, but I have seen the occasional scuba diver stuck in the treetops. Really? Of course not. That's an urban legend. What would you say if someone believed he'd actually seen the hidden people? I'd say that believing in the hidden people is absolutely crazy. But then, everything we believe in is crazy, from mathematics to democracy. So, the hidden people don't exist? Oh, I never said that. The hidden people most definitely exist. There have been appearances for years, all around town. It's almost as if, almost as if they're trying to get somewhere, but they're being blocked. I've been able to pinpoint scattered locations of sightings, but I can't find a pattern to them. Here, take a look. But I still don't see... Wait a second. This is a list of the dates of penumbral eclipses. Each one corresponds exactly to the emergences of the hidden people. Amazing. Give me a moment. There were just random appearances before, but now that I have a sequence, I can triangulate the exact position of the hidden people's home. We have to go, right away. Um, now? Right now, while the moon lights our way. Off we go. It must be nearby, Agent Tethers. We just have to follow the map. Do you hear that? Hear what? Alfred? Where did he go?
Hello? Nelson, I thought you'd never pick up. Jim? I was listening to the Scoggins tapes that you left and found some of the tapes. Jim, listen. Whatever you do, don't log the tape I sent you. Something massive is going on in Scoggins. Jeez, I mentioned the Hermes too and astronauts. If the director hears about any of this, it'll cause chaos in all the divisions. You can't let him know what's on that tape. Jim? <laughs> yeah, uh, I gotta go. Mr. Jennings? Good work, Tethers. Seems like you found something pretty important to these boys. But uh, I... They'll take it from here. But... Enjoy yourself, Tethers. You're on vacation for Pete's sake. Go skiing. Shoot a bear. As for me, I'm headed to that moose diner. I hear they blend up one damn fine milkshake. Why don't you come along? If nothing else, maybe I can convince Director Jennings to listen to me at the diner. I've got to get to the bottom of all this before these agents cover everything up. I'd better check around town to see who, if anybody, is still on my side. Good to see you, Tethers. Can't stay away from these milkshakes, I see. They are sublime. You've got to listen. There are terrible things happening in Scoggins. The foreman at the eraser factory, Isaac Davner, well, actually his real name is Ed Davis. He was abducted from the factory, dragged away by tiny forest gnomes. And, and looking for him, I found the body of an astronaut in the forest. The Brotherhood, that's the local gnome cult, led me to a cabin with a reclusive scientist studying eclipses and lunacy. Then, last night, I found a camp around a crashed lunar lander and the remains of a missing cross-country skier. There's only one conclusion. The astronauts in the forest are murdering people. Tethers, you're embarrassing yourself. Look, believe me, I know how crazy it sounds. I don't think you do, Tethers. But I saw them. Astronauts. There's a camp in the woods. Camping. Maybe that's what you need. Spend some time getting back to nature. It'll clear your head. But they're killing people. Maybe you don't believe me about the astronauts. What tipped you off, Tethers? But there are at least six missing persons cases in Scoggins, possibly more. I already spoke to Sheriff Fogg. Good man. Got the situation under control. Where are all these agents from? Secret Service? CIA? NSA? NASA? To stay out of their way and let them do their jobs. It's classified, Tethers. I don't know what Jim told you. Ingram, it's not what he told us. It's what he told you. I hope Jim's not in any trouble. He was just helping me out with my case. You're not on a case, Tethers. Vacation, remember? Yes, sir. But the eraser factory foreman, Isaac Davner. Could turn into a permanent vacation. Yes, sir. Director Jennings, since you've been here, have you seen any hidden people? Hidden people? Is that what the locals call the undesirables? Not exactly. They're gnomes. Uh, forest gnomes. So, no then? Oh, 
All right, Director Jennings. I won't come back until I have proof of what I've seen. Heathers, you're a good puzzle agent, I'm assuming. I'd hate to see you throw that away. Noted, sir. Agent Heathers. Lori? I heard what you said about astronauts. I know it sounds hard to believe, but I know what I saw. Isaac used to say he had dreams about astronauts. They were trying to tell him something. I thought you'd want to know. I've got to find it. The body of the astronaut. empty suit. It's been empty the whole time. It doesn't fit me anymore. Isaac? I, I mean, Ed Davis? No, it's Isaac Davner now. Those astronauts at the camp, are, are you working with them? Not anymore. When the mission went bust, I tried to run away. But I had to run into the Moose Ear Diner and fall in love with the waitress. I've been trying to make a new life ever since. Hermes 2. I haven't seen it in any of the official records. It was a secret mission based on confidential research from some crazy scientist. They sent us to the moon with a device, a lunar ray. We were ordered to put it on the surface, but something went wrong. A lunar eclipse? I guess so. The boys on the surface didn't have a chance. As soon as they got back to the module, they went completely insane. Had to lock them in the airlock and scuttle the mission. And you crashed in Scoggins. I realized that the ray was a weapon. I saw you taken away by the hidden people, didn't I? Yeah, they brought me back to the lander. Why did they take you there? I don't know. They whisper, but in a language I don't understand. I'm not sure why, but I think they were taking me to the Lunar Ray. They want me to destroy it. I'll help you, Isaac. You will, but aren't you with the FBI? That Lunar Ray is way too powerful to return to the government. And besides, I'm on vacation. The government guys have already found the lander. We'll have to get rid of that guard. Does your gun have a silencer? We don't have to hurt anyone. Maybe if I make a noise, I can distract him.
Now we've got to shut down that ray. The only safe place for that ray is at the bottom of Lake Sven. Keep an eye on the site while I check it out. Agent Tethers, if the government gets that weapon, they'll be able to turn anyone into feral screaming lunatics, just like my crewmates. That's it! That's their home! But the ray, it's repelling them, keeping them from returning home. I've got to disable it. locked in my own room. The story was that it was for my own safety. I guess I should be thankful they didn't send me to jail. Hello? Nelson, finally! Oh, hello, Jim. Listen, it's about these Scoggins tapes. Enough with the tapes already! Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that, but you've got to hear this. I think you left your recorder on, or, or something. It's labeled, Sighting Hotel Alley. That's when I saw one of the hidden people whispering to Bo Murphy. There's this weird sound. I can't make it out. Wait, I know that sound. It was playing under Olaf Wellhoven's Reel to Reel. That explains it. Thanks, Jim. Uh, okay, but what does... I figured out how Olaf Velhoven was able to solve the problem of lunacy. It's the hidden people. He was inviting them into his cabin to speak to him. I've got to get back to Olaf's cabin. And that means finding a way out of this room. Now, how did Olaf get the hidden people to talk to him? The moist white flesh of the codfish. But enough of that. It is time to call my tiny friends. Yes, what luck! Come, speak with me, my friends.
Agent Tevis, you're not allowed to- Ow! Whispers, tides of consciousness. The moon's gone black. Must hurry.
I'll never be able to destroy it in time. Welcome back, Special Agent Tethers. Hi, Jim. Anything exciting happen while I was away? Oh, never mind that. I got the latest issue of Puzzle Sensei. Um, think you could give me a hand with this one? Another puzzle solved. Don't look so disappointed, Jim. That was a hard one. It's not that. I, I'm just going to miss your help when I'm transferred. Transferred? Yeah, I've been relocated to the Tundra Division, Arctic Circle Outpost. When the directors found out I'd warned you they were sending agents to Scoggins, they called it a breach of protocol. Oh, Jim, I, I feel terrible. Here, take this my entire back collection of Puzzle Sensei magazines since issue number one. Wow! But aren't they full of the answers? I use tracing paper. You don't miss a thing, Nelson. Hey, is that a postcard from the Davners? Good to see they're happy anyway. Yeah, happy. What could go wrong in Bermuda?